in any way possible this should not be a house lived in by human beings not even animals a place that is wrecked and empty is our first sight when the sun shines you can never know if you're inside or outside the house due to the empty roof believe it or not this has been the house to one mrs rhoda akini together with her six children Rhoda is a widow who is 30 years old. She is one of the widows who suffer from cultural beliefs in Seme County. They live in the chains of tribal meat that makes them not live free after the death of their husbands. Hakuna mtu alikuwa amejitolea kumsaidia because yeye kama ni kupata mtu ya kumsaidia, kumridhi haikuwa shida kwake. But now apate mtu ya kumpatia support financially ndiye atoke kwa hiyo nyumba jenga nyumba ingine ilikuwa ngumu kwa rehema za Mungu nimepata nyumba na ninashukuru unapata yule mtu anapokuja pale kuridhi mwanamke kama huyo aleti faida yote instead anafanya maisha ya yule mama inadidimia zaidi kwa haraka na wakati mbapo mambo yanapoisha kwa huyo mama yale vitu yaliwachiwa na mzee wake ameisha na mambo kama haya unapata huyo mridhi anaondoka anaenda kutafuta mwingine ambaye bwana yake alikufa juu according to neighbors and villagers around they say that the meat a cap between a widows has been a hindrance to most of widows around Seme county and thus making them not get help from people around them for the past six years since her husband died, her and her six children have been living in this wreck of a house in poverty and troubles. Mtu akisha kufa pia, unapata kwamba wanasema kwamba akona kind some kind of taboo that akuna uh, mtu anastahili kuenda kutengeneza ukitengeneza nyumba yake unaaga dunia. Na inafanya huyu mama anaendelea kupoteza mali yake, anapoteza hata wengine wananyang'anywa watoto na wanafukuzwa na wengine wananyang'anywa shamba sasa ndivyo uh, tukawa tumekuja kwamba sisi hatuogopi vifo tunakuja mahali ambapo wameogopwa na tunafanya kile ambacho huyo uh, mama hangefanyiwa when we visited a house we found a good samaritans from mana missions in partnership with all for his glory missions of building a house for her this moved our hearts due to the conditions roda akini was living before. A hundred meters away from Akinyi, we found one widow who is in a worse situation than Akinyi. The condition of Flora is sad and sorrowful. Since the demise of her husband seven years ago, she has been staying in this wreck of a house. Though it was predicted that after the demise of her husband, she would have moved to another house, but this was not the case. Maurice Odhiambo, the founder of Amana Missions, says that due to the bad condition of the house, he was forced to bypass these cultural and tribal chains from the Luos without regarding the effect of it after. Lazima hatafute muridhi. Na kama hawezi kutafuta, mashemeji huenda wakatafuta mtu ambaye ni strange, haujai mjua, na wanaleta, na wanakuambia, ingia na huyu mtu kwa nyumba ndiye atakuwa mume wako na kuridhi In another school called Mana Missions another program for widows is going on with songs and prayers they praise If you look at their faces they seem happy just forgetting their problems Tumeweza kuafikia 150 wa mama wajane ambao wengine wako na umri ya juu hawezi kufanya lolote hata kwa mikono wengine wako bedridden wanakaa kwa vitanda tukienda unapata wako na strokes one side na wengine ni disabled hawezi kutembea so watu hawa tumeweza kuwasaidia uh, kila mwezi wanapata chakula tunawapelekea nyumbani na wale wanaweza kutembea hadi center yetu tunawapatia these are the widows who have been built houses or are in the process of that these are also among the 150 widows who get help from Manda Missions. After receiving the food, they pray and live, hoping to live for tomorrow. Apart from house and food program, the widows are taught on their rights and 
it seems to be helpful to them. Tunaleta hata lawyers, tunaleta na wale ambao wataalamu uh, wa kisheria kuja kuwa na seminar na kusaidia wajani ambao tuko nawa kwenye program ili wajue wataenda wapi na ni nini ambayo ni haki yao kama wa Kenya. With that, we say God bless those who touch other people's lives positively.